Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about FileZilla, which is a free software that you can use to download and upload files to your FTP server. Uh, in order to download the setup file, you need to go to filezilla.sourceforge.net and then click on the download link that you see on the left. You're going to be redirected to this page, and in this page, you click on this link in green as you see the first one once again you're going to be redirected to a page where you can choose the file format uh, that you want to download um, usually I choose the uh, .exe file so I'm going to click on that so that uh, I'm redirected to the actual download page and as you see it asks me where I want to save the file so I'm going to click on save file and as you see it's downloading on my desktop so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to install FileZilla we can now install FileZilla on our computer to do that just double click on the installation file okay we're gonna go ahead with the English as the uh, language click on next next again so we're gonna go ahead with the standard installation this is the destination folder you can change it if you want click on next again uh, this is the start menu folder FileZilla is fine with me so I'm gonna continue okay here basically uh, it asks us the some technical settings usually I recommend to leave them as they are by default so I'm gonna go ahead and click on install okay right now the program is installing it's not, it shouldn't take too long as you see we're almost done and there we go so we just installed FileZilla on our machine and in the next video you're gonna discover how you can configure FileZilla to work with your FTP account this is what you're gonna see when you launch FileZilla for the first time uh, first thing we need to do is to configure our FTP account to do that you click on this button and then on new site we need to give a name to the site uh, which is gonna be this one and then we need to tell FileZilla which is the host usually the host is something like FTP dot and then the uh, the name of the site uh, the logon type uh, is usually normal this means that to access your FTP account you need a username and password and usually your hosting company would have given those uh, when you sign up with them so the user in this case is this one and the password is this one so we can now save and exit and as you see if I click this little arrow I have my uh, website that is uh, popping up one more um, setting that we can configure is the default folders so uh, I click again on the two computers I go I select uh, the FTP site that I've just created and I can click on advanced to configure a default local directory and then also you can choose to configure a default remote directory so the local directory is basically this one in our example so sites and this is the directory so I'm gonna click on OK click on save and exit in the next video I'm gonna show you how to connect to your FTP account Connecting to your FTP account is really easy. You just click on this arrow and then you click on your FTP account. As you see, FileZilla is connected to the FTP account. You see on the right the remote files and on the left the local files. In particular, FileZilla connected directly to the local directory that we specified when we configured the FTP site what you want to do at this point if in as in my case as you see um, on the remote files I have uh, still a click to do to enter to the actual files I can tell FileZilla that this is the default directory that I want remotely to do that 
I copy the path in my clipboard I click on file site manager so I select Borsa Profit click on advanced and here I paste the remote path so that next time it's going to connect to Borsa Profit FileZilla is gonna go to this directory by default in the next video I'm gonna show you how to upload and download files from your FTP account uploading and downloading files it's really easy let's go ahead and create a temporary folder so that I can show you how to do that uh, I'm gonna right click on the remote files view I'm gonna click on create directory and then I, I'm gonna call the temporary folder temp and I'm gonna enter it okay so I, right now I'm the temp folder what I want to do is to uh, upload a file first so you just drag and drop it on the right part of the window the transfer, transfer is gonna start and once it's done I'm gonna show you how to upload um, multiple files so let's say I want to upload all these files I just select them all and again drag and drop in the right pane you can also upload folders, entire folders. So let's say I want to upload, um, let's find a small folder, this one for example. I just select it and drop it here. And again, I could have selected multiple folders and uh, drag and drop them all. I'm going to show you one more thing, and it's the following. If I drop a folder which is already there FileZilla is going to ask me what you want to do do you want to override it uh, override if newer resume rename or skip in this case I want to override so I click on override and I also tell FileZilla to remember the setting for this session this means that next time I'm going to start FileZilla it's going to ask me again what I want to do but during this session it's always assumed that the default behavior is override so now I'm going to click OK and as you see it's uploading the entire folder again